as the tailback. First and 10 from the 25. And it's a reverse, and they get it to Jalen Moore, and he's got a lot of room to recover, and he's going to lose five yards. Sean Davis on the tackle for Florida. And speaking of defense, how about them on August 21st, 4th versus Miami? Well, he's 13 on their opening drive of the night. Logan, and he is wrapped up by Jeremiah Moon. It's under center with a third down and four. It is P. Ryan. He's got the first. Powers his way to about the 34-yard line. Brought down by Wanye and Moten. Miami couldn't get into a flow. Third and short. Frank stumps it off. Oh, and Pitts falls down and will not have the first. In fact, he's going to lose a couple yards. Now 18 of 20 for field goals. And this is a 32-yard attempt. And... It is through. So 3 nothing Florida. From the 35. Bo hitting the backfield. And Jeremiah Moon. I've already called his name out a couple times tonight. They just got it off. As there are no flags down. Franks. And he's going to run for the first down. And across the 40-yard line. I thought that was really close there. We go. Fourth and three, Franks on the keeper, and he is not going to get it from that spot. It's going to be UT Martin football here. They shut him down on fourth down, and the Skyhawks take over. Logan up top, he's got it, and it's a Florida territory. Where do they mark him out? Right at the first down marker, but now it's third down and 11. Pressure, and Backus is sacked. And that's going to change things. David Reese, the second, was in there. Malik Davis now in the backfield. It's a play fake to him. And he hears that deep shot. Yep. Franks has a man, Van Zipperson, with a catch and a Gators touchdown. Who was going to get the spark? It was Van Jefferson, a long crossing around Grisby. Excellent protection by the offensive line. Felipe Franks scanned the field left to right. Rocket of an arm as he finds Jefferson. It's third down and five. Franks to the outside of the catch by Josh Hammond, and he has the first down for Florida. Now he's got a wide open man. It's Tyree Cleveland. Touchdown, Florida. Let's take a look at a great play action. It's going to hold the defenders. And then Tyree Cleveland goes right down the seam. Love the play flake. You see the backers step up. And then there's the touch from Felipe Franks. You know Gators coming with pressure. Back is set. Brunson. 34. For the orange and blue. Back is again running and being tripped up and sacked again. It's Jabari Zuniga. Already with two and a half sacks on the season for him. It's a Jabari I'm Zuniga. Out. It is Florida. A big human. The tackle and just look at the speed. And it's going to be Cleveland with some room. Look out 35 40 sideline and right near midfield. If they don't pick this up, Franks over the middle, but they will. Franks. On the first down catch, still going inside the five. Jaquez Atkins on the tackle for UT Martin. High formation set. Malik Davis is the deep back. It's Davis. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Florida.
Franks, catch is made at the five-yard line by Grimes. Upended there. Franks gives to Piride, and he stretches for the touchdown. You know, well, Michael P. Ryan is 5'11", 218 pounds, and when he so decides to get north and south, and he squares those shoulders, he's a tough back to tackle. Another problem in games like this, you saw it, three three and outs for UT Martin, trying to avoid it this time. Colton Dowell on the catch, and he'll have the first down. And age, right? Yes. Being in the same spot 14 years. Pressure coming in, and a sack. Another one for Florida defensively tonight. It's going to be their fourth sack to Daryl Slayton. Backus escaping for the time being. He can run. He's got daylight. And he's going to be just shy of the first down. Tackled down to 46. Bow, and he is dropped to the backfield. Man, that comes fast. James Houston, the fourth, and Andrew Chatfield Jr. for Florida. Carry now. Look out, Copeland. And on the sweep, Devin Hollins brings him down. Kyle Trask is in to start the fourth quarter now for the Gators. It's a play fake, and then his pass to the end zone. It's caught by Jacob Copeland for the touchdown. Coach himself in Mississippi State in 2009. Keeper here by the quarterback, Backus. And he's off to the races, being tracked down finally at the 20 yard line by Jaden Hill. And that's the biggest play of the night for UT Martin in the backfield. Instead, Backus lost it up to the end zone. And it's intercepted. Puts off by Kair Elam. This is pitcher perfect one on one coverage on the outside by Kira Elam. Again, a true freshman. He's just in the hip pocket of the receiver. He's going to time his turn perfectly. Walls him off. Great position. Goes up and makes the catch. Said he was a World War II fighter pilot. Nice catch. On the outside from Rick Wells for the first time tonight. Junior wide receiver for Florida as they move the football into UT Martin territory. I think Dan Mullen knew they were going to give a little bit of a problem tonight with their exotic looks. Trask. Pass is caught from Wells. He's going to be well shot of the first down. Bill Hudson is now at a quarterback for UT Martin. Third down and five. And the pass over the middle is caught. Jeremy Horton on the first down reception. Third down and 10. Hudson can't get away. And off to Iverson Clement now. It was in. Bumper down tackle as it's still on his feet. Clement. Drop down at the 32, finally by Wanye Martin for UT Martin. Little pinball here. He's going to keep those legs moving. Ping, ping. Come out the other side. Put down that left side. A nice pickup. Remember. <laughs> Jones right up the middle, and he's in for the touchdown. Emory Jones. 16 yards for the TD. Get ready for SEC play. A little slow start. But they got it going. Felipe Franks protected the football. I like when he took his shots down the field. Very accurate. The one thing I think they need to clean up is their offensive line play. And get after it. Get a little more aggressive. And they'll be okay. 542 total yards tonight for the Gators. As Dan Mullen and his staff with the win. And they have 
improved to 74 and 9 now in non conference home games since 1990. As you saw that stat, 89%. And they blank the Skyhawks here as the coaches get together.